In this video, I test out four different ways of making a breeze in the studio. Hello, I'm Gavin Hoey and you're watching Adorama TV, brought to you by Adorama, the camera store that's got everything for us photographers. And if like me, you work in a small home studio, you know that if you want movement, it can be quite tricky because well, you're limited with space. However, if you've got a model with floaty hair or wearing floaty outfits, then you can create movement by creating a breeze. And that's what we're gonna do. Four different ways of creating a breeze. I'll be using the classic studio wind machine. I've got a reasonably sized home cooling fan. I've got a big board that we can flap up and down. And finally, I've got a hairdryer. Hmm. Uh, well, we'll see if any of these work. We'll get a model in, we'll get some lights set. Let's get shooting. So today I've been joined in the studio by Alice, who's gonna be the model for this shoot. And as you can see, she looks amazing with lovely floaty hair that's gonna look fantastic in these pictures. But we're not just gonna test hair, we're gonna test fabric as well. So we've got some floaty fabric to add into the shots. Now let's talk about lighting. I've got the Flashpoint Streetlight 360 in a small softbox and I'll use the same lighting setup for all of these shots so we can test, well not the lighting, but the effect of the various breeze making devices. Now it's worth mentioning a bit of health and safety. Things are going to float around in here, particularly when we get to the bigger fans. So if you've got anything that's gonna blow away or blow over, move it away from your set. And well, you can't really move the light, we need that. So I've got a sandbag at the bottom to make sure that that doesn't blow over. We don't want it landing on Alice, that really would make a bad shoot. So the first thing we're gonna use is a real low tech approach. And it just involves well, anything that you can use to create a breeze by flapping it around. In this case, I'm using a large five-in-one reflector, but it could literally be just a piece of cardboard. These are great because the chances are you're gonna have something like this lying around in the studio, and they really do create a really good breeze. There's a little tip I'm gonna give you if you're gonna use this reflector type of board. Remember that sometimes they have a shiny side, and if you're doing it on the side that's opposite your light, you might accidentally bounce some light in that you don't want. So do think about maybe using the black side as your, your kind of main side, uh, rather than the shiny silver. So there is one obvious problem with doing this on your own, well, you can't. You can't really flap this and take pictures at the same time. So I need an assistant. So I'm going to get Sam in to help me out with this. There we go. I'll give you that. Uh, she's going to do the flapping. I'm going to take the pictures. Okay. Are you ready, Alice? Okay, here we go. And you know what? That's really effective as long as you can get the rhythm of the flapping and your photography and the modeling in sync. Right, let's also try that with some material as well and see whether the, the board can actually make some movement to this. This is quite floaty, so I'm, I'm thinking this might work quite well. Okay, Alice, if I give you that, you want to pop that around yourself. Next, we're gonna try something that you probably already have around the house. It's a good old hair dryer. Now, it makes sense to try one of these things. Hair dryers are designed to dry hair, move the hair around a little bit. And uh, we've got uh, quite a powerful little hair dryer here. It's certainly noisy and it's definitely warm, which has to be a plus point. But is it any use in the studio to move hair? I'm not too confident about this, but we'll see, we'll give it a whirl. Okay, let's take some pictures. Okay, full power. Yeah, okay, it, it worked, sort of. Um, yeah, let's see if it works with the material as well. Why not, let's give it a whirl. <laughs> yeah. No, that didn't work. <laughs> So next up, we've got something that I can actually use on my own. We have a electric fan. And this is terrific because it has a few benefits. The obvious one being, I can do this on my own. The second one is, it's got a bit more direction. And the third one, it's constant as well. So Alice gets to model without having to wait for the, the moment when the breeze is just right. 
But how much of a breeze are we going to get? Well, I don't know. There's three settings on this. I'm guessing maximum setting. Let's, let's start there. So I'll turn this on and we'll take a few pictures. Alice, are you ready? OK, here we go. Let's switch that off. It gets a bit chilly, that side of the, uh, the fan. It's not too bad my side, but um, do bear that in mind. You don't want to freeze your models, it's not much fun. But we've got to try something else. We're going to get the fabric and go again. Yeah, and that was pretty successful, but we've got one more thing to try. Have we saved the best to last? Mm, OK, let's find out. Let's get the wind machine out. The final thing we're going to use is the classic studio wind machine. And uh, these really are quite exciting things to use and quite breezy. And I'm going to give you a little bit of health and safety because you're going to need an operator, whether that's you or somebody else, to set this up. These things will blow out a lot of air, but they also pull through a lot of air. So if you've got long hair or loose clothing, they may get sucked into the back of the machine, which is never going to end happily. So in this case, we've got Sam with a hair up just for the health and safety point of view. OK, um, it has a variable power control, so I think we should fire this up on its lowest power and then work through to the more powerful end and see how it works. Alice, are you ready? It's too late, we're going. OK, here we go. <laughs> Well, it's not the quietest thing in the world, but it's very effective. And yes, things do get blown around. That's absolutely fine. OK, let's try that with a bit of fabric as well. OK, that's really great fun. I reckon this is the thing I want to use. So let's have a go with this and we'll try a couple of different setups and see what amazing pictures we can get. OK, Alice, are you up for this? Right, let's do it. <laughs> You can lean that into the breeze. That's it. Perfect. You just tilt the uh, the end forward. That's it. So having tested all four things, here are my final thoughts. It's really hard to beat the price of the flappy board and it works really well if you can get the rhythm right. However, the hairdryer, very disappointing, not much power and had to get it way too close. The home fan, really good if you need just a light little breeze, but for a serious breeze, well, the wind machine wins hands down. And don't forget, of course, if you want to see more videos from myself and the other amazing presenters right here on Adorama TV, you need to be clicking on the subscribe button. Uh, hang on, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Yes, here we go. 
you need to be clicking on the subscribe button. I'm Gavin Howey. Thanks for watching. Woohoo!